and welcome again to another video of basic fishing. It has been a long time since I've posted my second tutorial video which is how to catch kawaii and it had received a lot of positive views. In the old video I had covered the basics on how to target kawaii in a basic way through my personal experience. So for today's video I wanted to make an updated version of this tutorial on how to catch kawaii and add some additional information as well as alternative methods on how to target these fish. For those who are new to this tutorial video, welcome! And I hope you'll learn a thing or two on how to target the most underrated species of fish in New Zealand, the kawaii. So, we all know what a kawaii is. It's an amazing fish with an amazing strength, speed and agility with a chrome silver to it. Kinda does look like a salmon but nowhere near related. Unfortunately, it is the most underrated sports fish in New Zealand, but I personally think kawaii are great fish to target especially when the snapper aren't present, and make great eating too. Their habit ranges all over New Zealand, whether it is around harbours, estuaries, river mouths, rocky coasts, or the wild surf beaches. They can grow very large too, although sadly due to some commercial fishing pressure, many of the larger kawaii that used to be present have all but disappeared. In my previous tutorial, I had covered the basics on what gear to recommend on different scenarios, but I had also mainly focused on how to target kawaii using dead bait. The most popular bait that the kawaii prefer are oily baits, whether it is pilchard, skipjack tuna, anchovy, and mullet. The main trick I found to catch kawaii on bait is to use either small to medium sized baits. Also, kawaii are very visual predators and sometimes I like to use the flasher rig as an additional means of getting their attention to the bait. In fact, Kawaii are so fast that they'll get to a bait very quickly before the snapper when they see something very interesting. However, this isn't exactly a guaranteed way as you'll end up hooking onto some um, other species of fish. Some maybe even be better than a kawaii, or some are just those annoying pickers, or some species are unlucky to even have got caught in the first place. It's also interesting how a small bait can often get the kawaii's attention very easily. For example, when I was surf casting, I did an experimentation on using small hooks versus big hooks, which gave me an interesting result. Obviously, the big hook produced a school shark, which kept cutting me off in my previous trips, and the small hook gave me a kawaii, but also two elusive trevally as well, which is a great bycatch. After wolf, I was able to land my longest kawaii using small recurve hooks, which was one of my most personal best moments of the wolf. The reason why I prefer using small bait is that it allows the kawaii to suck in the bait because unlike snapper they cannot chew their food, they can only grab and swallow so the food size they can handle can be limited. Long strip baits is no problem, but when it comes to larger baits, then it's better off to use it to target snapper instead, or other species of monster fish. Now using dead bait is dead simple. But here is another method that I had tried and managed to catch kawaii with. Live baiting. Kawaii are predatory fish and are active hunters. Their main prey are small bait fish, and these are the prime examples of what a kawaii will snap up and will go through a lot of effort just to get one of these small bait fish. Now, as I mentioned before, due to the design of the kawaii's mouth, the size of the bait fish must be put into consideration if you are planning on targeting them with live bait. Now I've used a slider bait before and used small mullet which is the prime food source for the kawaii, but the kawaii also doesn't hesitate to snap up smaller kawaii, which is quite surprising. And if you're very lucky, you might end up getting a kingfish instead, which by the way, their favourite prey is kawaii. Of course, hooking one is easy, landing one is another story. Now it is possible to catch kawaii with both dead and live bait. Here is another method where you don't need those two in order to target them. The third method to use to target kawaii is using lures. Kawaii are sports fish and this is one of the most sporting way on targeting them. Nothing is more amazing than feeling the thrill on hooking onto a kawaii on a lure and feel its strength while you fight it in. I've already made a tutorial video on how to get started on lure fishing, 
So if you wish to get into more depth into that, make sure to check it out, the link will be in the description below. However, I will give you a quick crash course on the setup I use. A small 2500 spin reel loaded with 10 pound braid, and I use between 10 to 12 pound fluorocarbon and a 3 to 6 kilo spin rod. Length is optional, but for distance I got myself an 8 foot rod. The lure I recommend are simple spinner baits that are shiny and small that resembles a small bait fish. I prefer um, lure weights between 12 grams to 20 grams as those are the perfect size and weight for light tackle lure fishing. If you're anywhere where there is a river mouth, a shallow bay, even a surf beach, bait fish schools or a workshop, cast your lure around there and you'll be in for a chance to hook onto a kawaii. Even if it's a small kawaii, still counts. Another good lure style is a rapala style lure, where the action allows the lure to swim deeply. Although it lacks the casting distance, still a good lure to pick when the fishing is tough or when the kawa is picky. Soft bait is also another good option to use, especially in deeper areas. Now lure fishing can sound daunting and I will be honest, when I first started lure fishing I had to go through so much homework in order to find some specific gears and find out that only by having the specific gears that you are most likely to hook onto kawa using lures. It's definitely not the most easy form of fishing, but it is rewarding in a sense. Not to mention, to specifically target kawaii, this is the most accurate way on doing so. Now here are some additional tips and tricks I like to include before wrapping this video up. When it comes to either dead bait or live baiting, the hook I like to use for kawaii are recurve hooks, like either the KL style or the KLT hooks. The reason why I prefer this style of hook is because 1. The suicide hooks you need to strike hard in order to set the uh, hook up. But recurve hooks, all you need to do is either do a gentle lift on the rod or let the fish hook itself. Another benefit is that 1. The hook is set, the fish cannot shake the hook off no matter how slight the line is. For hook size, to catch kawaii, these are the categories I like to use in different situations. For the wolf, I use between 1 borrow to 4 borrow off the beach and the rocks, I use up to 3 borrows to 5 borrows. If you get the chance, remember to use burly as kawaii responds to the scent of burly the quickest and will be lurking around as soon as they smell something fishy. For lure fishing, always make sure to set your drag just enough to have enough tension to avoid any slack on the line but also allow it to let your fish run because if you set your drag too tight, you can rip the hook out of the fish and also break your line. Either way, fish gone. Another good tip I like to include is to replace the treble hook with an inline single. As inline single hooks hook the fish more effectively and the trebles are terrible hooks that get snagged everywhere and everyone. So I hope everyone enjoyed watching this second version of my kawaii tutorial video and if you have please like and subscribe for more fishing videos and don't forget to check out my other tutorial videos if you wish to learn more about fishing. Again thank you for watching everybody and I hope to see you all next time.